everything we experience is probably food in some sense is that it goes in you and it, you, uh, it nourishes you or it angers you or it creates an emotion, it changes you. So I just think in a, in a broader sense, it's really just talking about are we sensitive to that we are living and that there are other things on the planet and everything gives off a vibration and has something that touches us in one way or another. So I think it's all a, a cycle of eating and given your impressions of what you ate back and all that. And so the whole thing about having a record called Zen Food is that music is, I'm not sure if it's, it's uh, nourishment for the soul or if it comes from the soul, but somehow it's, um, you write a song and you play it, you share it with other musicians and then you share it with everybody else. So this is music that um, is nourishment for your soul. I'm performing, the nights that I feel like I'm more in tune and it feels like everything is just the first time is when I'm not going after anything. It just just seems to be there and you're just sitting like in the belly of it or something. We always, I always want to repeat it. Like if I have a good gig on um, uh, Thursday and I'm going to play again on Friday, I always, you know, oh man, yesterday was just wonderful. Let's do it again, you know. And already you're, you're, uh, you know, you're becoming ambitious. You're, you want to become something now. Now you're, you're, you're after it. And when you, le that's taking your energy out instead of working from the inside in, you know, same thing. And I, I don't like when I do that, but it just, you know, it kind of happens. I think it's a, a critical moment with uh, students where you cross over into being a musician and you, you start to feel that, you start to sense it and feel like, yesterday I was a student wanting to become a musician and something happened between that you know moment and now I'm a musician who happens to be going to a, a school, so technically that makes me a student, but there's a different type of attitude that you have is a different expectation of yourself and a certain confidence that that happens if you can encourage them to understand that point and the difference and to be honest with themselves and you know okay we're working on a project now we need musicians you know we're all musicians here I'm not the teacher that person's not the teacher and you're not the student we're musicians trying to share some music so let's just play and let's get to it and you know let's let's work with that energy I used to watch Johnny Carson a lot, you know, a whole lot. I always thought the show was, was fun, you know. Um, but I never thought that, you know, I never wanted to do that. It never crossed my mind to, to do it, you know. And then when I started doing it, I, was, I just had a blast. My role, for instance, was to not have anything written down. So I could be kind of the loose part of that, you know. And it, and it works good because there's a loose element and then there's a structured element, so it just gives you a different kind of vibe on it. Sometimes Jay and I will both, you know, because he can go either way, um, we both fall into that. But at the same time, we realize, well, we can only go that far because we're a cog in a wheel that's trying to sell a bigger, you know, pie. And probably some of the best moments are best moments are when that structure comes in contact with improvisation is a good moment because it touches so many people. I'm so proud to have been in that tradition from Doc Severinsen into that and the whole thing and um, I, I think it's great and I, I like what's happening in the bands and late night TV all across the board. People ask me like well, what are your major influences or who are your major influences and they always pick Wes Montgomery or you know Train or Bird or somebody like that and and really the people we're most influenced by are the people we see every day. And my mother probably influenced me more as a musician than, than going on the road with anybody um, because I heard her practicing every day. She was teaching pa piano lessons all the time. She was, you know, uh, music director at the church all the time and I was there all the time and, you know, so the whole thing of music as a living was never like in question. That's a huge question that I never had to answer because of the influence of my mom.